Grand Rising, everyone. I'm going to be doing a quick energy read, okay? This is going to be for the collective, okay? I don't know who it's going to come out for as far as zodiac-wise, as far as your zodiac signs, but we're going to find out. So far, we got the number 27 or 72 could be significant to you, all right? We got etheric cords, okay? We got Arzuli Zentor, okay, coming out in reverse. So someone does not have a etheric cord. Someone is not tied to your family tree, okay? Someone is not connected to you in your heritage, okay? Or culturally, I'm hearing. All right, and I'm seeing that someone could be thankful about this with shame coming out in reverse or someone is prideful about this, okay? Someone could be an Aquarius, creativity, wanted to come out, but it stayed. All right, so somebody could be thankful that they're not, you know, from the same, um, you know, walk of life as you, traditions, for some. All right, we got feeling safe, all right? Someone could be an Aries, 427 could be significant, all right? All right, we got a set, surrender, and we have Queen Nefertiti, alchemy, okay? Somebody could be balanced out or balancing something out. 444 could be significant. We got two... Tatuba, feeling safe in the set, surrender, and we got 44 and 4, okay? So somebody could be 44, but somebody also could be an Aries, somebody could be 38, all right? 83 could be significant, all right? Somebody could need to surrender or so, someone may be surrendering, all right, to the fact that they um, hold magical power within them, okay? Somebody could also... Um, someone else could be, you know, realizing that they're going, they, oh, okay, with etheric cords coming out of reverse, I'm getting that someone didn't know this, all right, they could have recently found this out on the 27th, all right, which was yesterday, we got a radical rebirth, so someone is going through awakening, all right, they're, they're having a radical rebirth, they could be changing really quickly, all right, with um, Amonya, Ambonya, Nahanda, okay, radical rebirth, Someone could be a Taurus here. 527 could be significant. Significant. 5445. Okay. Somebody could have been born could be born in um, May of 83. Someone could have been born. So someone may have passed away. Someone could have been born in May of 44. Okay. Or 72. Or someone could have been born April of 83 or 44 or 72. All right, but I'm seeing that someone is changing. All right, someone could have figured out their heritage and is changing quickly. All right, they could be a part of the tribe of Judah. All right, felines are the tribe of Judah. All right, we got Atati. All right, so someone is worthy. Okay, they they went through a radical rebirth, and this is someone who's very worthy. Four one four could be significant. Someone could be born that that date as well, or that date could be significant to someone. That could be an anniversary. Okay, for some a death day. Okay, I just seen grief right after that. Okay, someone may, but the death could be coming out as far as that's when someone. Um, okay could have discovered who their cultural um background was and you know who their where their heritage originated from things of like that okay who was a part of their original tribe okay someone may be speaking up now someone may be loud or using their voice at this time okay a lot of people could be noticing that about you. We're going to go over to the Alice in the Wonderland deck. But a lot of people could be noticing that about you, that you change, that you speak up a lot. You may have been someone who was quiet in the past, all right? You may have also needed, needed some adjustment to adjust to, you know, who, you, who your higher self was and, you know, who you are spiritually. You could have discovered your spiritually high rank that you have a lot of pull with, you know, um, in the spiritual realm and in different universes as well, not just one. And um, that you're backed by a lot of people, um, a lot of races 
that your eye um that your third eye is open as well we got follow the white rabbit in reverse it says curiosity meet opportunity but that's coming out in reverse i'm seeing that you may have um thought that you and you may have never discovered or imagined that you will be you know um receiving the opportunities you're receiving that you'll be in the position you're in that you know you wake up out of the matrix and discover that you were this great being it says follow your own good advice so you could be someone who gives advice a lot you may also need to trust yourself and know um you are someone who know what is best for you okay um so trust yourself follow your own advice don't listen to what anyone has to say to you okay especially when in regards to this change that you've made okay you're ch you've changed a lot you're changing a lot and there's going to be people who have things to say about this um just because there's someone who doesn't evolve or um, believe in evolution okay it says to keep your temper so you could be someone who's high-headed who you you don't you know take a lot of bullshit you could be someone who's sweet as hell but at the end of the day when it come down to bullshit you just don't tolerate it it's principles you feel me at the beginning and the end of the day and it says um don't allow your anger to rule you so you could be someone who has to get your anger under control that could be something that causes you to you know um fall back right i'm seeing that you could always go back to this um form of you know um getting your word and point across all right speaking up you could you know have a hot ass temper and it, it scares a lot of people okay it says um the right way but in reverse learn to create what you desire okay you may not you may be having a hard time with your creativity and discovering what it is that you're supposed to be doing on this new journey um that you're on okay with falling coming out here a lot of things have fallen away from you a lot of ways okay and you could just be looking at things from an innocent point of view a pure point of view you really don't know which way to go or what you're supposed supposed to be doing next okay the ancestors and just came and swooped you up and took you through this radical rebirth and now you're trying to figure out what ne what step to make um uh, take next what's next okay we got change because you've changed there's a change here evolution is here and you're stepping out into the unknown okay you know things are not a game when nonsense coming out in reverse things is real serious shit thing got real real okay you got a lot of choices here it says feeling blocked or restrained okay someone could be trying to block you all right from the choices that you have the blessings that you have this is someone who is not there okay someone who doesn't want to see things go your way um all in the golden afternoon all right so someone someone could be inspired by the shit you're doing or what you're creating a new conception that you're doing okay and then for others um someone could be trying to get pregnant and they're not able to conceive as well um someone like i said your creative um spark is is blocked at this time as well with choices and all in the after golden afternoon coming out feeling blocked and create a spark that clarifies that all right um someone is trying to restrain you they're getting in your way all right someone could also be trying to block um your third eye but that is pretty much what we got here you're not seeing anything else keeping up immense effort advance yeah somebody don't want to see you advance and they could feel like you're growing at a quick rate okay someone wasn't expecting you to grow as quickly as you did they didn't see that coming all right they could have wasted a lot of time bullshitting or, you know gathering around talking shit about you when you know you were moving ahead and you know changing right in front of their eyes <laughs> And at least that's what it seems to them. It may have been drastic for you, but, you know, if it was a radical rebirth, it was something tumultuous at the same time you had to go through. You had to go through a lot of emotional roller coasters in order for you to go through this rebirth. And so, you know, you ain't playing no games. A lot of shit is real serious. Your eyes have been unscaled to a lot of the um, shit that is real that people think is not real out here. And so, you know, and in the world, not just, you know, when I say out here, I mean in the world, okay? And so, you're, you're focused at this time. And you're just trying to see where you're supposed to be going next along, you know, your path. You're not really worried about what anyone else has going on. Shit, not, fuck, not really. You're not worried at all. But that is what I have for you. I'm just going to take some cards to clarify. I mean, some numerology. Um, but I am seeing... Um, 521, 421 as well out here, 321, 327, 34, um, 35, 314, 326, 
20, 10, 26, 10, 20, 10, 4, 10, 23, 4, 28, 5, 28, okay, 5, 6, 6, 28, 6, 26, 10, 6, 10, 6, 27, 6, 4, 6, 5, all right, 6, 21, 121, 120, 126, 14, 123, 13, 16, 127, 15, 114. All right, so we got Aquarius, we have Capricorn, and we have Aries. Let me see what this means. I took the wrong element. All right, we got Aquarius again, so two. Two could be significant or two, two, two. Four breaks down to a two. So two, two, two. There's a familial change taking place. All right. We got a Capricorn that may be blocked at this time as well. All right. But that is what I have for you. So guys, please do thumbs up the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys real soon. Until next time. Bye.